Ravens head trainer Kevin O'Neill gets fired at the Combine. I'm Raven Trotto, and joining me to discuss the surprising dismissal is our NFL analyst, Ross Tucker. Ross, first, what does this say about the Dolphins and why at the Combine? Yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's the more important point. I, I don't think it's surprising given the fact that Kevin O'Neill was in the Wells report multiple times. I don't think people are shocked that he got fired. But the way it went down, Raven, has got to be discouraging if you're a Dolphins fan because much like we've talked about in recent weeks regarding the Cleveland Browns organization, it is clear that the Dolphins don't have a plan here. They don't know what's going on. I mean, you know when the Wells report comes out Friday at 10 a.m., you know the combine is going to be Thursday, guys are going to be leaving on Wednesday. Make a decision before you fly the guy with the Dolphins contingent to Indianapolis. He's in a meeting with the other trainers. Then you pull him out of the meeting to relieve him of his duties. It just, it just reeks once again of dysfunction within that organization. Let me ask you this, Ross. You've been a part of teams, um, a head trainer. We don't talk about that much when we talk about hiring and firing. Uh, I guess who would be up to take that place? Yeah, well, you know, they already have an assistant trainer, uh, Troy Maurer. He's been around forever. I wouldn't be surprised at all if Troy got the job. And that's how it usually works. You know, guys are assistant trainers for a good 5, 10, 15, sometimes 20 years. And then if a guy gets let go or a guy decides to retire, then those are the guys that are next best candidates. Listen, I don't think this impacts the Dolphins' season that much. I don't think it's like, oh my gosh, they're a terrible team because the trainer got fired. It's not like it's not about that. It's about the process in which they make decisions within that building. You can only go up from here. Thank you for your time, Ross. Okay.